Hey, good. How are you? Good, good. Good. I'm Brian. Danny. Nice to meet you, Danny. It's a pleasure. This is my friend Lucas. Lucas, how are you? I'm bad. How are you? Good. I'm Brian. Good. All right. So tell me what's going on tonight. Now that we're in person talking, yeah, you guys are sure. flying a Cessna. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're coming back this way from Mesquite, okay. and when we were flying to Mesquite. Um, about an hour and a half ago, we heard on the radio there's an SCU helicopter flying around saying they're getting lazed west of I-15. Okay. And which so is west of I-15. And we were coming back this way, and we got a we we're about just about over that where the paparazzi building is, mm -hmm. and then we got a light shining at us, and we thought it was on that side, but then we looked over and we saw it, we're like, oh. So we came in and started circling over and found out exactly where they were at and took some videos. So. Okay. You can see on the videos and then compare it to Google Maps exactly where it is. Just watch so, you guys. Yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah, so here's what the videos look like, which we could track it down. I have a property pretty close to here, actually, and I'm familiar with the streets. They, uh, That's a still of it, but where we are in this video is right here on okay. the Escalante Drive. And then uh, that's Co-op Drive that goes up and hugs the hill, but this Escalante Drive, if you just go down across the little intersection there it's uh what was the name of it, it started with a p i was just saying it a second ago it's uh let's see. yeah it's this one right here it's uh pavent circle okay so i'll show you the video and you can determine this too but when we were looking at it it was coming from right here one of these two houses and watching the video it we narrowed it down to 2686 on the driveway or on that back patio so I'll show it to you and you can... Let me just write down those addresses really quick that you sure. have there. There's two houses. Yep. 2686? Yep. And what was the other address? The other one's 2685. And what was the... It was what circle? Uh, Pavent circle. Pavent? P yeah, P-A-V-A-N-T. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and the, uh, it'd be one of those two for sure because this house is now built and there's a street light there you can see in the video and it was coming from right here that's the furthest we could narrow it down was between on the property line of those two okay. but after watching it a little further we could see that let me show you this video real quick so you can see it uh let's see this was the first video we took uh oh, yeah. approaching it this happened to me in mesquite a few years ago and we had the officers go to the location i don't i never followed up i don't know what happened but i that stopped there but the last few weeks we've heard on the radio people saying hey we're getting hit with a laser we were up uh, four days ago we heard we, we got hit with it but we couldn't figure out where it was and we just heard everybody saying hey we're getting hit with this laser pointer and uh, tonight we were lucky enough to be able to track down exactly where it is but so oh, I'll show you here so oh, man. yeah oh. it's bad when you're in a plane it's dark up there you know so it's it's pretty bad so this com this is coming from let's see if I could stop the video right where it was there okay so there's that street light like I was mm -hmm. talking about the house that is now built was right here so if you look and and this house is a very distinct house I remember going there as a kid a lot um, and that's on Pavent Circle the very bottom left corner of Pavent Circle so if you're going up it's like that's why we think here's the circle going straight that's why we think it's off to the it's okay. just off center to the left slightly okay so. Um, if you need these videos, I could send them to you, but... Yeah, that would be awesome if you could send those to me. I wonder if I can have you send them in evidence.com. Let me do this. Let me send you a link and see if you can drop them in. Okay. What is your email? Okay, I sent you an invite. Okay. So, yeah, just look for that invite in your email, and then it'll just give you an option to upload those videos right to that. Sweet. That's probably the slickest way to do it. Yeah, I think so. That'd be awesome. Okay. Okay, well, I don't think I need you guys to run up with me um, now that I have those addresses. However, sure. would you guys mind filling out statements for me? Yeah. And no just worries. write down, this is what we're doing, this is what happened to us, uh, and that way I have everything locked in. Um, yep. In Utah, the only thing I could charge them with under Utah code would be an assault. Yeah. Uh, just for shining, because, I mean, you can see just from that one video yeah, that pow, how that hits yeah, you guys in the cockpit. However, I would refer it to the FAA too. Uh, yeah. because it's a federal offense. And that's why I put them with a civil fine as well. I was actually reading up on it, waiting for you guys, and I didn't have any idea. Do you guys know that Utah is the eighth highest in the nation for these? Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's eighth crazy. highest in the U.S. That's for, bad. Last year they had like 6,000 incidents of people lasering aircraft in Utah. I had no clue that it was 
the people are that dumb. Well, like I said, I, I, had, I had done that in Mesquite where it happened, and they gave me a frequency, and I talked to them just on the aircraft radio and was able to narrow it down, and, they, and I saw them going to the address, and like I said, never followed up. But that's the only time I've ever had interaction with that. I mean, we've been hit traveling, you know, flying over places, but it's crazy. That's too many. Well, it's too way many. too many. I just can't believe it. Yeah, Let especially. me grab some statements for you yeah. guys. Okay. All right. Okay, those are all uploaded. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. So here's these. You guys can just, yeah, I got pens for you, but it looks like you've got your own. That's awesome. Okay. Cool. If you guys want to hang out in the car and just do, that's probably easier than standing here on the road. So yeah. I'll just wait for you. Just do me a favor. Um, as you fill these out, right, don't compare um, yeah. each other's story. Just write what you saw, heard, what you saw and heard and did, and then uh, we'll go from there. Sure. And I'll just hang out. Once I have those statements, I'll go see if I can track these knuckleheads down. Sounds good. Sound all right? Okay, appreciate thanks, it. Guys. Thanks, guys. Definitely follow up as much as we can and hopefully they can remain this other address they've got How's some going? teenage kids that are living there or something that uh, sure. I'd like to track them down. But either way, I'll follow up with you. Um, I've got you guys' number. I think I've got your number in the person. I'll yeah. just I'll holler at you and just let you know one way or the other if we're tracking any down tonight. Okay. And then uh, you guys did the right thing to call. So Yeah, I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Any questions? Uh that's it for us. Okay, yeah. nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. You guys be safe flying, okay? Take care. Right. Thanks. Thank you. See ya. Yep. You want to follow me over there? Yep. Uh, first, we're just going to go over to this first address and make contact. Okay. So, the laser that they had was coming from like right on this driveway right here in this oh, area yeah. so they actually did a good job of circling it and then they, they took a video of it the laser hitting them in the plane Dang. i mean and even on the phone you could tell it's blinding oh yeah um so i'm just going to try to make contact here and see what we get okay so this one there's a an 84 year old female is what it shows in utilities so my family. Yeah, who knows? We'll try this one first and then go next door. Surely that'd wake up anybody if they were sleeping. Hey, how are you? I'm good. My aunt just texted me and said you guys were at the front door. She was wondering why. <laughs> okay. I'm Brian. What's your name? I'm Ross. Ross? Yeah. Well, Ross, the reason we're here to chat with you is we just got a complaint from a pilot of a Cessna airplane. It wasn't a Cessna. I have video of it. It was a drone, and they've been doing it for like the last three days, just flying over the house. I've got video of it. Okay, was that you shining the laser at? Yes, it was. Me. Okay, okay. It was not a. It was not an airplane. It was definitely a drone. It was about 15, 20 feet above. Like I said, I have video of okay. it. Okay, all right. So, did you see the Cessna? Did you see the airplane that was that was circling right here? Because they was, they've got video from the airplane showing the uprights for the wings and everything as they're circling you. And so, like could you have been shining it at the drone and not realize that there was a plane there? There it may have been a plane. I can see there's one right there. They literally, oh, yeah, you're right. There is. They literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I keep video of this. Do you? Okay. Like, I, I may, you have there may have been a plane. you shining it at the drone tonight? Yes. Would you mind showing that to me? Is that, is that okay? I appreciate that, man. Yeah, you're right. There's a drone right there's there. One right there. Well, I see one right there, so yeah. One right there. Yeah, go one grab right your right phone. There. That'd be great. I'd love to see that video. Thank you. So this is an ongoing thing. They okay. constantly... Help me understand what I'm looking at right here. That's the one that I shine the laser at. So that's the drone that you're shining the laser at right there. Yeah. 
How far away from you is that drone when you're hitting it with the laser? Do you, could you estimate? I mean, if you were to look up... Just about the me? ridge of the... Because that's pointed right there at the ridge. Oh, so you were looking this way at yeah. that time, and that's the and it drone? Just, and it flew over like five times. Okay, okay. See, I'm, I got video of it. Yeah, let you shine the laser at it. It literally was just hovering over that the ridge, and then okay. it come over the house. Okay. Yeah, more, just multiple times. Every time I walk out to smoke a cigarette, there's one right there. Look, there's another one right there. I don't see a drone there. The red and I green saw flashing one, I saw light. one right over here. Where are you looking? Oh, straight up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was saw just, one I, here. You, you that pointed one's that high. one over there. Okay. Okay. But there's that one right there. Okay. It, it's a constant thing, and everyone thinks I'm fucking crazy, so I keep documentation of it. Okay. Okay. Would you be willing to send me that video that you got on your phone, the one yeah. you just showed me with the one with the flashing lights on it? If I give, oh. if I just send you a link, do you have an email? Yeah. If I send you a link. Okay. Oh, there Which, it is. There's there's a better video of it. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's not an airplane. Okay. Yeah, that is not an airplane. Could you send me both of those? Yeah. That'd be awesome. What's your email? Yeah, that's that's not zoomed in or anything. That's just from the steps of the trailer. Okay. And just sit, sat there hovered like four times okay, just, yeah, yeah there yeah I can see yeah. that okay I just sent that to you so you should get an email here in a second that just gives you an option to upload those two videos for me okay I'll have to uh, what was your first name again Ross Ross is R-O-S-S -S. yeah what's your last name Ross Bruce P-E-R-U-S-S-E -S -S -E. P-E-R-U-S-S-E. I'm sorry, S-S-E? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have to figure this out. Um, I really appreciate your cooperation. That helps, oh, that yeah, helps I helps understand. It's the reason, again, that we're here is because there was if, a if Cessna I would, yeah, aircraft. If I would have hit a plane, it, I didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was flying over, and actually they got hit with it. And so they came back to say, oh, what, where was that? Because there was a helicopter, an SUU helicopter, that also got hit tonight right in this area with a green laser. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. And they were talking to each other on the radio, and the Cessna came back over and actually circled right here five or six times trying to pinpoint where the laser was coming from. And in that video, that laser is direct, it is right, shined at their cockpit five or six times, just flashes their cockpit directly Yeah, at you them. saw the video. That, that's so, no plane. Well, the first one, I can't tell if that's a plane. The second one, that does actually look like a drone. That does appear to possibly be a drone. I guess it's, um, they just, is there any they way that you're there. mistaking? No, it just sits there. Look it. So that, I'm going to tell you right now, Ross, that's what I'm looking at right there. If, if it's that blinking light you're pointing at, that is not a drone, my friend. I can go that's get... That's a star or a planet. I can go get you my night vision right now and... I mean, that one I saw you pointed out over here. That was definitely a drone sitting over there. I agree with you, the one that was over here. But I'm not convinced that's a drone, man. I, I guess my, my caution, you seem, to, you seem to be educated on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you understand that if you, if you hit an aircraft with yeah. a laser... Yeah, no, I would a, never intentionally... It's a, I would it's a never, federal offense. It's, I would, they're mm -hmm. hitting people with $11,000 fines right now for first offense on that. Did you know... And I didn't know yeah. this until I started looking at this call tonight. Did you know that Utah is the eighth highest in the nation for lasering aircraft. Oh, wow. They had over 6,000 incidents of it last year in Utah. Yeah, if I, I, had if, no I hit, if I hit an airplane, that was not intentional. It wasn't intentional. Okay. It was definitely not intentional. Yeah. I Every, hope not, because you understand, you seem to understand no. that a laser like that... Um, no, like I said, it was, just, it was like hovering right over about this two-story house right here on mm -hmm, the ridge. Mm -hmm. As soon as I came out, it started circling, 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 and then it would stop. And then circle, circles. I know it definitely wasn't a plane. So if I hit the plane, it definitely was not intentional. You were trying to, it, you it, were trying to shine that laser at that. Yeah. And is I'm assuming that the reason you're shining the laser at the because I'm tired of the harassment. Right. Because you believe that maybe and, it has a camera on it, or 
Is that what you're thinking? Is maybe oh, yeah. that they've got cameras on them or something? I don't. I don't or... want to say too much because I get deemed crazy. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm not calling you crazy. I'm just trying to understand what's in it's, your it's, mind it's when you do it. It's just every night, every time I walk out to smoke a cigarette, one zooms by, turns off its lights, and then it'll come back by. Like I keep documentation of all of it. I see. Okay. And just, it's irritating. I just. Would you mind showing me the laser that you used? Yeah. Just so I can see what, what I'm looking at here. You shot it at the wall right there. Okay. Is that just something that you? Is that just something that you ordered? Do you mind if I look at it? Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. No problem. I'm Did cool you just order this online? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well. um... I, I guess, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to refer this incident to where it needs to go. I don't know what will happen with the follow-up. Um, I'm glad that you've been so cooperative. It's very helpful, actually, to understand that because it does appear on that one that does appear to be a drone. Um, I would suggest just a piece of advice. I, I'm not even going to do that, it no more. I, yeah, I, won't, I, mean, even, I won't even do it anymore. God, I mean, unless you're just positive there's nothing behind the drone, because I guess it could, you know, it may be easy to miss maybe a little Cessna that's flying behind and you're hitting the drone with a laser not realizing you're actually lasering a, a, an aircraft behind it. Um, yeah, I would, I would probably suggest not doing that anymore um, just because I, can, you can, seem like can a I nice show, guy. Can I show you something? Oh, yeah, because yeah, before, yeah. usually before I do any of that to anything, I look at it. I only... I only come down for one or two days a night. My son stays here with my aunt. I live up in Bryan Head. Oh, I see. Okay. But. So what, now what is this item? This is. Is this a night vision? Night vision infrared. Okay. And that's how I can tell that right there is a drone because once you turn on the infrared filter, uh -huh. it will show just one solid light, which means it's an infrared light with a camera. I see. And that's what you're looking at with that oh, yeah. to and, determine. And I take keep pictures of it all with this too. Okay. But all this right. isn't. I have to take the SD card out, put it in computer. Yeah, yeah. And I understand. So. What brand is that? Stealth Cam. Okay. That's very interesting. Yeah, it's a uh, night vision and infrared. <laughs> okay. So, so you're using those when you look up there to determine whether so, what you're looking at is a drone or not mm -hmm. and, and that that's based on the, the, the possibility that the drone is, is equipped with like an infrared camera or something like that interesting so, mm -hmm. and just, and does this happen every time you're down here yeah and how often are you down here you say about well, uh, are you down here every weekend or um, every week or, or what about two to three days i try and keep it at that 72 hour because then i have to register i'm registered up at brian head Oh, oh, I see. And okay. so my son stays here because he goes to school here. Okay. And so, so he lives I, with your in my aunt? aunt. Yeah. Okay, I see what's going on. You just stay in the trailer mm -hmm. here when you're here. Okay. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay. So that that way I keep it at that seventy-two mark of not having to register here mm -hmm. because she can't have me register here because of her business. I see. Okay. Okay. So, and and see, I, I'm completely honest with that. Is I, I am an SO. Okay. I'm getting it removed off my record soon. But good. Yeah, yeah, I do. Good. I'm glad to hear that, man. Uh, okay. I've been fighting it for years, and it comes to go with what's going on here. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. So well, I, I, I do. I do it. apologize if you talk or if someone well, talks the, to pilot. I do apologize. I, I actually talked to both of them tonight, and, and, and seeing the video, they said they said that they they could the, the, the pilot that was flying the plane said he couldn't even see for five minutes. He had to have his, his other guy take the controls over. Because uh, he said it just blinded him; he could not see anything. And when they showed me the video, I mean, it it just that laser comes up and hits that cockpit, and it even watching the video, I was my eyes hurt, and so I couldn't yeah, imagine. Now, that. now I feel bad because that's a because, super because powerful the, laser. The right? one I I know I hit for sure was a drone because it was literally just right at this ridge. That's too low for a plane. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like right there, just, just right, right, right the above that line. house, right there at okay. the ridge line okay. when I stepped outside. Okay. Yeah, I'd, and I, I would think you would know the difference. I mean, you seem very intelligent. I, I would assume that you would know the difference between a drone and an airplane. This was a, I, this was I, I a single-engine Cessna. I do know the difference. So I, I imagine you would know that immediately, right? It was counterintelligence in the Army. So. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. How long did you serve? Seven years. Okay, when did you get out? 
2014. Okay. Well, then you know. So, yeah, don't don't be shy on the, the laser that, anymore. Uh, I'm going to sky to anything. It's just not worth it because, yeah, you inadvertently hit something behind it. You know, the FAA is not going to care. They're, they're going to they're gonna come down on you because it's it's just such a serious. And I like I said, man, I had no idea until I was looking at it coming to this call. I had no idea there was such a problem, yeah, even in Utah. Idea. Yeah, we're one of the highest in the nation for, for laser contact with aircraft. So, That's crazy. Yeah, it, it is. It is It is interesting. Well, so, I do apologize. I, okay. I, I well, really I, do. I appreciate that, man. I'll, I'll put that in my report. And then um, for you, I mean, no news would be good news. Um, I'll just send this to the appropriate place it needs to go. There is not actually a, um, there's not actually a Utah code statute, like a criminal statute, that governs the use of a laser, but feds unless can pick, feds can pick it up. well, well, unless. Oh. So, if you were to shine a laser like that at a moving motor vehicle, that's a Class C misdemeanor in Utah. Or if you were to shine it directly at a law enforcement officer, knowing that it's a law enforcement officer, right? So, if I'm in uniform, there was a, pol a police car, you would have to know that it's a police officer, and then you, you deliberately shine it. the laser at them. Then that's a that's a crime. Oh yeah. There's not there's not actually a statute for aircraft in Utah. It's, it's handled by the feds. It's handled by the FAA, um, who actually handle that in, in Utah. So um, so that's where I'll, I'll refer it, and I'll make sure in my report to include uh, the video that you have provided me with that shows that, hey, this is what I was doing. My intention was these drones are coming over my property, and I, I was not okay with that, and I was trying to you know, let them know, hey, they need to go somewhere else. And, and your statement would be that you didn't realize that there was a Cessna behind your in, in background or for yeah. well it couldn't it have been, been in been, the foreground yeah it would have yeah. been in the background yeah yeah so okay well that's what i'll document so do you have any questions for me no sir okay i appreciate your cooperation thanks for coming out and talking yeah. to us yeah, makes it a lot yeah, easier she for us me, to do she's our like, job hey so. uh the police are here um do you want to go talk to them i said yeah i'll go talk to them i'm glad that you did I, I had a feeling it was probably about this but when you yeah. said pilot of i was like oh yep there's a drone yeah, yeah. And nope, ended up being a plane. Well, yeah, that ended up being a Cessna. Yep. Like I said, that. So when I there's that video, you know what? Now that I see it, because when I was hitting the one that was hovering, I said, "Oh no, look, there's something in the background." Mm -hmm. So I may have. Now, I think I think you did. Yeah, I think that you did. So just send me those, especially those two that you you showed me there. Okay. Because I think that first one, to tell you the truth, that first one I think was a plane. I think that maybe you were looking at that drone and that yeah, that's the plane now that, that was now that I saw because I said I saw the one that was on that ridge and I said, "Oh, look, there's another one in the background." And I that may have been the plane. That's what I think was going on. So, all right, man, we'll get out of here. Okay. Don't forget your stuff sitting yeah. here. So, all right, man. Thank you. Yeah, again, I apologize. Okay. Hey, as long as it doesn't continue, I think we're probably going to be good. Okay. Have a good night.